Let me pump it up before we start our mayhem and torture for tonight. Tonight, because we're in Portugal, it's 9 p.m. It's almost bedtime for me. But yes, you didn't know this was what a bob was for? For pumping up? Oh, you thought it was for beating him up. No, no, sorry, guys. <laughs> Welcome to the Willow Dojo. Welcome to my humble abode in Lisbon, Portugal. How many of you guys have been to Portugal? Huh? This is Lisbon, so it's the capital. Uh, it's a pretty good weather, a lot of beach, a lot of forest, everything in handy. And I've been a professional in Lisbon, for a professional stuntman in Lisbon for around 13 years now. So it, uh, I think I might have some cool things to share with you guys, not as a master of martial arts. I wouldn't want to teach you a martial arts class, but mostly conditioning. So I think we're gonna have a pretty, pretty good time. So let's look at the chat now and see what we got here. Bruno Ferreira, we are in for a treat. What's up, Bruno? Ricardo Santos, Bruce Willow in the house, Marcio Lemos, João Lima. <laughs> nice, nice. Yo, yo, Rudolfo, please. Go, go over there to the PC. Oh, these guys are so incompetent, bro. Put, put, put everything down, you know, see the new comments. There are new comments arriving and I can't see anything. Come on. Click in new comments, new comments. My God, it's working with, with unprofessional people. It's, it's such a, oh. Patrick Stankoff, what's up, Patrick? Hey, what's up? Can't wait for this. I hope you're ready. I hope you have your tank top ready. You can have Bruce Lee on, because Bruce Lee is obviously our master of us all. And um, so while we wait a little bit so that people can uh, start, uh, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a blueprint of what's going on and what will actually happen tonight. So first of all, I want to thank my team, either Black Belt Magazine, which is one of my favorite magazines, obviously, ever since I was a child. And I want to thank also my number one cameraman, Louie, Rudolfo, which, who's in the, the other camera and uh, also in the computer, screwing up, <clears throat> I'm, I'm kidding. And uh, uh, Joao, who is in the uh, computer room, you know, making sure that we get everything tidy. And uh, well, let's, without, without further ado, let's go into the blueprint of what we're gonna do tonight. So, what I want you to get out of this It's, it's not just a workout, it's a seminar. So I'm trying to teach or I'm trying to share stuff that I have learned along the way while working out and trying to get as conditioned as possible as a stuntman. So uh, my real name is Bruno Salgueiro. I come from Portugal, like I said. And Bruno is the direct translation to Bruce. And Salgueiro means willow tree in Portuguese. So willow, I thought it'd be a cool name, Bruce Willow. I know it's kind of dorky, but I actually have this romantic idea that Salgueiro, Willow, is both strong and flexible. And that's a lot of what I try to do symbolically in my fitness. So, as I said before, I'm not wearing a kimono, I'm not here as a martial arts master, I'm here to let you have some fun with some um, ideas of how to have a perfect blueprint or what I believe to be a very good blueprint of your uh, home workout to get more explosive in your kicks. Because I believe kicks are um, the, the greatest exponent in terms of conditioning because they do wear me out whenever I do them. So, first of all, we're gonna start with a warm up where we increase our heart rate and we go through a lot of mobility drills. And I want to stay here for just 10 seconds in the mobility aspect because a lot of people think flexibility is key but flexibility without stability is nothing and when you kick you don't just want to open your legs you want to open your legs and then boom, tighten them up right so a lot of uh, there's a lot of work a lot of tightening of the adductors of the abductors of the glutes of the core so a lot of things have to be really strong while opening the legs you know so it's not You could say mobility is like flexibility or a range of motion through tension. That's why in the warm up we do a lot of that. It's like accessory movements that will really help you a long way, along the way in order to get the best kicks or the best possible stances for your martial arts ever. After that, we're going to do a little activation. We're going to have some fun. And then usually, instead of going right away onto the uh, strength portion or hypertrophy, what I like to do first is explosive drills like plyometrics. When I do jumps and quick 
twitch jumps, working the fast twitch muscle fibers. I believe that helps me a lot in terms of getting as fast as possible with my kicks. So either plyometrics or speed drills or throws, you know, those throws will, with mad balls and stuff like that against the wall, those are, what help, those are the ones that help you get as explosive as possible. And you should get, get it done right after the warm up whenever you do a workout. Right after that, the power techniques, you can do them on the bag. For example, kicking the bag, punching the bag. Power techniques, not a lot of repetitions. Low repetitions with, with full blast. And then comes the strength, and then the circuit or the accessory movements, which should be hypertrophy. So this is the perfect blueprint. You can either like do the, that printing thing you guys do on the, on the cell phone right now, because this might really help you in terms of having the perfect segmenting of the good workout. And um, well, I, 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 I believe you can catch my drift. By the way, Check out this beauty. Check out this beauty. I just got this. I mean, it's like it's like a collector's edition from Bloodsport, you know? Oh man. Okay, USA. Yeah. And 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 one of the vinyls, one of the vinyls has um has a, a picture from that video game they play in the arcades in Hong Kong, you know, where the where the big guy says, "Aren't you a little young for Kumite?" And he goes like, aren't you a little old for video games? <laughs> yes, I grew up watching those movies. That's why, that's why I'm in love with all this stuff. And uh, that's why you, when you come to the Willow Dojo, you gotta be, you're always gonna be soaked in on all of the 80s and all of the retro stuff. Jackie Chan, Van Damme, plus a thousand, um, Bruce Leroy, whatever, you name it. So keep in mind that this is gonna be a workout where we're gonna honor action movies and we're gonna try our best to be as explosive as possible and let's begin with the warm-up. So for the warm-up we're gonna begin placing our feet together and we're gonna place our hands to the side okay and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do jumping jacks and mountain climbers. Look at me first so feet together hands on the side I'm gonna do 10 jumping jacks this is a jumping jack and then the mountain climbers will be in a push-up position like this. One, two, three, four. So it's gonna be 10 of one, 10 of the other. 20, 20, 30, 30, okay? Let's keep it in a slow, fluid pace and let's start in three, two, one. Frickin' go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just getting loose. Eight, nine, and 10. Perfect. Now abs tight. And one, two, three, four. Ah, oh, excellent. On to the next one, 20 of each. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Let's get it together now for some 20 mountain climbers. And one, two, three, four. 10, 20, and now 30 of each, and let's ramp up the pace. We're gonna rest in a while. Go, one, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 20, one, two, three, faster. Four. Six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. And now the fastest mountain climbers you can get safely. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. And have a little rest. Let's look at the chat. Getting that blood pumping, exactly. That's it, Patrick. We gotta increase our heart rate for first. And only then we're gonna work on the mobility. So guys, you won't need much materials for this. I might want you to get a chair later on, but it's just a chair or something to hold on to. Because we are gonna 
revisit some of the techniques for the martial arts, but m may I say that I'm, I don't want to change your technique that you might have learned with your masters in whatever martial art you do. I want you to feel and listen to your body while you're doing it and maybe grab a couple of pointers that might help you be more explosive, faster, and do everything a little bit better, who knows, okay? So next part, we're gonna do what is called a toe touch. A toe touch with feet together, legs extended, I'm gonna to try to touch the floor and do a little bit of a jump, okay? So if I can't go all the way down with my feet extended, with my legs extended, if I can't go all the way down, doesn't matter, just go where you can go and we're gonna do 15 of these because I really want you to warm up your lower back as well. So one, two, three, four, five, yeah. Six, trying to go a little lower each rep. Seven, eight, oh man, nine. See, this is the, that dynamic flexibility that I was telling you about. Five more, one, two, three, four, and one more, five. Now let's get on all fours. We're gonna do what's called a camel. We're gonna torque everything, like bend all of your vertebrae and your neck, your uh, chin will press against the chest like this. So one, and then two, looking all the way up. Okay, so arching your back. Very, very sexy. Let's go. One, two. We're gonna do 10 repetitions. Three, four. As sexy as possible, guys. Eight, nine, and 10. Okay, and from here, we're gonna do what's called a T-bow, like this. So one hand behind the head, and my elbow is gonna go on the opposite hand, and then gonna go on all the way up, pointing at the ceiling. So 10 times on, uh, 10 repetitions on each side. So one, two, exhale on the way up, like a little faster now. Six, you feel that torque in the hip? Feel that torque in the hip? That's what I want. So one, two on the other side, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. From here, push up position, groiners. One foot goes next to the same side hand, and then that same side hand will point at the ceiling like this. And then you turn, same thing on the other side. So left, left, put it down, and go back. Make sure that back leg is extended though because I really want you to be able to open up those hip flexors. The hip flexors play a major role in all of kicking, especially wheel kicks and, we, uh, wheel kicks and hook kicks like this. So I want you to be able to not only squeeze it, but also extend it. So we gotta use those hip flexors. Make sure that these drills are a must in your workouts like this. So one, Two, let's do, let's do eight. Switch. Three, nice. Getting limber. Four, five, yes. Six, two more. Seven, like Arnold, no matter what. Eight, nice. And that's good. Okay. Now I want you to rest right here. You can, you can uh, lift up your heels. I just want you to rest right here and have a full bending of the knees, which is something that maybe sometimes we don't visit that much. Everybody should have, everybody should have the capacity to a full bending of the knee, okay? If you don't have that full capacity, that means you're not working on it or, or you're injured. But I want you to stay here for a while. Oh, nice. And then, now place your heels on the floor. And what I want you to do is I want to work the adductors. What's the difference between the adductors and the abductors? Abductors, it's actually easier in Portuguese because abrir means opening up. Abduct, abrir. So opening up, so the outer portion of the leg to opening up 
is the abductor. The adductor is the inside, which comes in very handy because when you do a kick, if you do a kick you, and you want to right away bring, bring down your leg, you're going to use the adductor, okay? So from here, I'm going to do a deep squat as if I were resting. I'm going to put my elbows on the inside. I'm going to push my knees outward and the knees are going to force to the inside and work those adductors, two Ds. Ugh. So the elbows are, are, are making it a little bit difficult, but not that difficult. Let it, let it work together. Let it dance. Five more. One, two, three, four, five. Do you feel it here? You should. Now let's go up. Relax for a little bit. And now the same thing, but the abductors. So from here, my hands will push my knees to the inside, but they won't let it happen. Then we'll do this. No more valgus knee. Ugh. 10 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Nice. These are hip strengthening exercises that you do in order to really make sure those kicks are on point. If you don't have these, if you can't stand, if you can't hold, for example, in a side kick for long, that means you're, something is wrong with your, uh, <laughs> something is wrong with your abductors. <laughs> I was gonna say something's wrong with your ass, which is probably true. Work that ass. Come on. Okay, now, I want up downs here. I only want my hip to go down, okay? Arms extended and go all the way back. Eight repetitions. One, two, ex exhale on the way back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and go up. Oh, nice. Oh, oof. I'm starting to, starting to pump me up. This is what a warm up is for. Most people disregard the warm up. Most people think the warm up is only preparation for what's coming next. That is bull. That is not true. A warm up is where you put a lot of the accessory movements that will help on the long run. They will develop your mobility. So a lot of people ask me, when do I, when do I stretch? Well. Sometimes it's easier if you do a lot of dynamic stretching in the beginning through the warm up because that way you'll be ready for the kicks as well. So make sure you put a lot of good stuff that will have long term benefits in the actual warm up. Okay, guys? So now I'm going to teach you my favorite or one of my favorite dynamic stretching exercises. So don't tell it to anyone. It's just between me and the black belt magaziners. Okay? So it's just between us. Don't tell anybody. Okay, this is sacred. It's called the groiner 2.0. So remember the groiner from back then? Right here, one, two, right? Now we're gonna do one, two. The back leg or the back foot will go to the side and then my other arm will reach and point to the ceiling like this. So that way, as you can see that way, I'm not only stretching my hip flexors, but I'm also stretching in my other leg. I'm also stretching my groin. So this is one of the best drills that you can do before kicking. I'm gonna do six to each side, but I'm gonna just show you two, and then we're gonna begin those six, okay? So right here. <clears throat> one, two, turn to the side, up. Let me show you once again on the other side. So right, right, come down, left, left. See this final position? where I have this 90 degree angle. If I go here, if my knee goes past my foot, no go. I want to be here. Okay, this is, should be my final position as if I were taking a, a, a picture for the Black Belt magazine cover like this. You know, like Bas Rutten, Bas Rutten in the new e edit, in the new, in the new uh, version of the magazine like this. This is what I want, okay? So six on each side, let's go, let's go, let's go. Right. Right, down, left, left. That's one. Left, left, down, right, right. Oh yeah, make it burn. One, 
side, side, left, side, side, two more, right, right, put it down, left, left, yep, make it count, and left, left, put it down, right, right. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. I feel so limber right now, I could like, I could beat up Jackie Chan right now. No, I wouldn't. I'd be like, <laughs> sorry, Jackie. Sorry, sorry, Sifu. Okay, so next, we're gonna try to incorporate a new segment of the workout, which I'm gonna call plyometrics, but we're gonna do some plyometrics, which is basic jumps. Uh, I want you to be really quick off your feet off the floor because the more athletic you are, the less time you spend on the floor. For example, when you go from one kick to another or when you go in your toes and you want to jump or you want to go back and forward, okay, you want to be good in your tendons and plyometrics are some of the drills that really will work your tendons and not as much the muscles. So the quicker you are on the floor, the better. So we're going to work on low repetitions, but as explosively demanding as possible. So when I say jump up, you're gonna hit that freaking ceiling with your head, okay? I don't care if your, hair's, if your head is padded like mine or if you're, you know, shaved head. Oof. So first thing we're gonna do, we're just gonna do three jumps, regular jumps like this. So bring your arms back and one, two, Okay, let's do it. One. Still 80% intensity. Two. Yep. Land on your toes. Three. Use, your, use their arm, those arms, good. And while we wait, while we rest, let's make the most out of our time. And I'm gonna grab this thing here and we're gonna keep working our dynamic flexibility so if you have something to grab hold of, and if you have something to slide your foot with, I would recommend, for example, if you have a towel, if you place one foot on the towel, you can always slide, or if you have like a carpeting on your living room or something, if, if you are on your living room, you can use like a plastic bag or something, recyclable plastic. Um, yeah, if, if you wanna use like, a, I've seen people use even, uh, a uh, piece of paper, <laughs> a poster, <laughs> not a Van Damme poster though, come on guys. So if you, if, if you can grab something that you will slide with and something to grab hold of, could be a wall, could be a chair or something, okay? I'll give you 10 seconds and then I'll show you the exercise. We're gonna do something called a split squat because I really wanna open up your hip a little more. So from here, you're gonna place your back foot on top of the sliding gadget and you're gonna go all the way back all the way back. For now, let's keep a 90 degree angle on the front leg and come all the way to the front. Let me do it once again. So one and two. Okay, try to keep this back leg extended as much as possible. One and two. So you can see that we're stretching, but at the same time, we're in a tough position and we have to come back. And when we come back, that means we're contracting, we're, we're tightening up the muscles when they're extended. That is some serious mobility. Let's go. Three times only. One, and come back as if you were wiping the floor. Two, and come back. This really loosens you up. And three, and come back. Nice. Now on the other side, same thing. Let me put like this angle here for you to watch it carefully. Now one, all the way, and two, two, oh, and three, ooh, yes, okay, no more. But you can feel that not only you're opening up, but you're tightening in that position. It's like doing a chair split versus a split. If you do a split, you're sitting your ass on the floor. But if you're doing a chair split like Van Damme, believe me, you're, working and your adductors are, are, are being so tightened up that you're actually think you're gonna not be able to 
have kids in the future. <laughs> Basically, that's it. So now, second plyometric drill, tuck jumps. I want five tuck jumps. Let me show you a couple. I want five tuck jumps in which you raise your knees as high as possible, and when you touch the floor, it's gonna be, the floor is your friend, and it's gonna be a huge rebound. So instead of going, instead of waiting on the floor, the soon you land on the floor on your toes, you're gonna propel back up. Let's just try three first. Let's do two sets of three with a little rest in between, okay? Use your arms. Three, two, one, go. And rest a little bit. Make sure you realize how the movement is done. Think what you might have done wrong. And let's go for a second try with a little bit more explosive. Explosion. Three, two, one, go. Yeah. As if the floor was lava. Yes. Oh. Now, 2.0 on the other exercise. So this is what I do a lot of the times. I do explosive stuff, which requires a lot of rest, but I do a, what we call a filler. I fill the rest with a little bit of accessory work. This will work wonders for you in the long run, like I told you, and I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you that the whole evening or afternoon or whatever it is you're from. So from here now, we're gonna do a split squat like we did before, but knees over toes guy, and most of you might have heard of that guy, he's amazing. A guy who shows a lot of excellent drills for you to get your knees as prepared as possible or uh, injury free for life. So instead of going all the way back and remaining a 90 degree angle on the front leg, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna both bring my front knee all the way to the front. I won't care if my knee goes past my toes and the other foot will also go all the way back as much as possible. So it's gonna look something like this. If I have to lift my front heel a little bit, it's okay, but I should not try that, okay? Let's do three together. Three, two, one, go! Yeah, like this. So now the hips will move forward. Oh, and one more. Oh, darn, darn, darn. This is starting to get really limber, but also strong because I need to have my hip flexor strong when I lift and I need to have them loose and supple when I kick. So that's the combination. Remember, willow, strong but flexible. <laughs> Let's go on the other side. Left leg forward, piece of paper on the back leg and go all the way back. Remember, this knee goes forward as if you wanted to incorporate it inside whatever it is you're using. Let's say it's a dinner table. Two, all the way back, as if you were doing the splits, come back, and once more, very sexy, all the way back, and then oh, back. So it's a strength exercise. Let it loose, let it shake it up, and let me look at the chat. Black Belt Magazine. We're loving some Bruce Willow. Oh yeah, of course, guys, you're paying me millions, of course. <laughs> Why wouldn't you love me? <laughs> I'm kidding. It's just, it's, it's not in the six digits, it's in the five digits. <clears throat> Oof. Next, one of my favorite drills ever. It's sort of a lunge jump, and I'll give you a beginner version and then a more advanced version. So the beginner version will be a lunge jump, like this. But instead of going 90 degree angles on the legs, I'm gonna do what's called a B stance. So it's like just one foot away from the front foot, like this. So it's like a half kneeling position, but you're not gonna be kneeling. So it's a half crouching position, like this. Okay? Do this, yeah, follow me. Are you comfortable, are you steady? So from here, you're gonna jump up, and then you're gonna switch to the other side, like this. One and two, see? Always land one foot behind the other, and it's like, a half crouching position. So from here, you're gonna jump up, you're gonna switch, we're gonna do it six times. The advanced people will not only do that, from here, we we'll go up, but we'll lift the back leg up, the, the back knee up, 
as high as possible and still switch to the other side. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you two repetitions of the beginner and two repetitions of the advanced and then you choose your poison. So from here, beginners, one, two. See, okay, try to have balance. Advanced, one, two, okay? This is a great exercise that will teach you a little bit of unilateral uh, explosion. So from now, we're gonna do six repetitions, touching the freaking ceiling, hitting with, with your head and uh, calling all the neighbors and police and whatnot. So six repetitions. As high as possible, guys, come on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yes. Love it. See how this switch thing can help with fast and explosive kicks? Yep, that's what I'm talking about. Get a little bit of rest. Oh. And now for some sliding drills. I know, I know these are a pain in the butt, but if we mix them up, it's like, ah, I don't like peas. If I mix peas with rice, it's a little bit more manageable, right? So what I wanna do is I wanna put the peas, the accessory work that you might need, mix it up with the cool stuff like the jumps. So from here I want you to do a Cossack squat. Pay close attention. So one heel will go on top of the sliding device, sliding apparatus, whatever you wanna call it. The other heel will never lift, will stay here. So the position will be this. Go all the way down and then come back up. As you can see, this is now a groin exercise. This is what helps you get the splits in the long run as well. Make sure you grab hold onto something. If you can push yourself up, the better. I don't want you to have 100% of your body weight on top of you for this exercise just yet. So do like one, wait, one, and then go up. Help yourself, okay? Three reps, three, two, one, go. And exhale on the way up, two, and three. Ah, nice. See, low repetitions, but meaningful, you know? I remember there was this one, there was this one guy who said, we need emotional content, not anger. Now try again, with me. I have no idea who he is. I heard he's a, I heard he's, Somewhat of a god figure. Let's go. Three. Ooh. Take your time going down. Two. Ooh. Squeeze in. And three. Oh, nice. Okay. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Oh, excellent. Oof. This really turns me on, guys. <laughs> I just gotta do it a little bit. Yeah, the third exercise will be a little bit of a, a, a twerk, a plyometric twerk. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm from Portugal, not Brazil, man. This is not samba, <laughs> even though we speak the same language. Okay, so next exercise, woo, a little bit more advanced. Ooh, I'm so scared. So from here, I'm gonna do a tuck jump, but unilateral. So instead of going both legs, whoa. What a great jump. From here, I'm gonna do, and I want the beginners to only try to do this. From here, jump up and land on both feet, okay? Make sure you realize your limitations. The advanced are the ones who have already tried these type of drills. For example, guys from Taekwondo, guys and gals from Taekwondo, as soon as you land, you go for another rep. So we're gonna do four reps on the right, four reps on the left. So I'll show the beginner first, and then two repetitions of the beginner, and two repetitions of the advanced, and then you choose your poison, okay? Like this. So let's see it, it's here. So this is the beginner. Land on both. From here, land on both, okay? Make sure you start knowing that a lot of the times you're not gonna get, 
in sparring, for example, you're not gonna get a perfect jump off both legs. It's not gonna be like basketball, right? It's probably gonna be more like, you know? So you gotta be explosive on one leg as well. The advanced one will be, okay? So we're gonna do four repetitions of either you decide on each leg. Get ready, guys. Start with the right one. Go! Good. If that knee almost hits your chest or you hit your hand, that helps you get a lot of explosive drive. Now the left one. Woo! A little tougher. I love unilateral exercises because they teach me a lot about myself. I sometimes get to see which leg I'm more powerful with. Now, we're gonna do the Cossack squat again using the slider, but some of you might not need support. Some of you might be able to do it without, like this. So go all the way down and up. Go all the way down and up. You're gonna do three repetitions on one leg and three on the other. The other, the others, or the ones who can't go all the way down, go all the way that they can, always grabbing hold onto something, okay? So let's start. You choose the side, three repetitions, all the way down and up. Go! Make sure you feel the adductors. Two. Go all the way down. Three. Switch. One, two, three, nice, nice filler, guys. Uh, okay, let's switch to the second half of the workout. We still got a lot to suffer. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you guys, but this is gonna be great. <laughs> so now, <laughs> if most of you aren't tired already, come on, you guys are martial arts, you, ha you can't be tired. If most of you aren't tired already, now we begin with the kicks. But now you'll feel something and you'll thank me later. You're so loose, but so explosive for the kicks already that it's gonna be easy, okay? So the first combination that I want to work on, and of course, Either of you might have different techniques or different experience with the martial arts, so probably you might disagree with some of my technique. That doesn't really matter, we're working the conditioning. So you do with your own technique, and I'll show you my way of doing it. So the first one will be, I don't even care about the stance, but if you want, you can put a leg, uh, left leg forward, so an orthodox stance, and from here, you're gonna throw a front kick from behind, so remember, Lift that knee up, extend, and make that hip go forward, like this. Okay, one more. Do one more with me. Okay, good. Now on the right, right forward, unorthodox, one, south pole. Two, just like this, just limbering it up. Three, good. So the combination will be I can be square or I can be left leg forward. I'm gonna do a front kick with the right. And I'm gonna do a roundhouse kick with the left. I wanna snap roundhouse kick. You don't have to go all the way through, but if you prefer to go all the way through, by all means. So it's gonna look something like this. One, two. Okay, let me show you on the side. One, two. Okay, I want you to be really snappy, as if you were hitting the bob. Can you see the bob? Like this. Okay. That did not hurt at all. Yeah, that's cool. So I want to do three repetitions on each side. So start with the right leg kicking first, and then with the left, and then we switch three on each side. Very, very explosive and powerful. Okay, let's go. One. And two. 
Nice. Three. Nice. If you guys want to hit something, if you got a heavy bag at home, by all means, okay? Now, right leg forward, begin with the left. One. Two. Let me show sideways. Three. Nice. I didn't see myself, but I know that was nice. Oh. Right, Bobby? Right, Bobby? Nice. Give yourselves a hand. That's the first one. I'm gonna ramp it up. Second one. Let's do a little technique first because I'm not sure. A lot of people execute this perfectly. I, I don't care. Just try to, even if it's like this height, I don't care. It's about the motion. It's about working out. It's about having some fun. Next time, you'll do it higher, okay? So the first thing will be, you can be right leg forward. You can just uh, slide and you can do a front, uh, sorry, a roundhouse. Place the foot down. That's why it's important to have a strong adductor and then a hook kick. Let's make sure, let me show you first. Okay, so roundhouse and then a hook. Once again, the hook. So this was too fast. Let me make sure everybody gets the hook kick. The hook kick is 45 degree angle from one side to the other. So it starts like a round kick where you lift your knee up. You start extending the leg 45 degrees on the inside, so hip closed. And remember what we talked about, so we have this tight, but now we have to open it up. So that's why we did the mobility drills with the split squat. That is why everything comes together. So good, so smooth. Okay, so from here, inside, open, and recoil. Once again, close, extend, and it's like a, it's like a, 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 a beautiful slap, okay? If you guys can do it without support, the better. So here, inside, all the way, outside. Inside, all the way, and outside, okay? So this should be the technique. Make sure your, uh, uh, your obliques are very, very tight. So we're gonna do, once again, roundhouse, and hook. I wanna have violence. I want violence in those freaking kicks. Let's go. Right leg first. One, two. Oof. Oh, so beautiful. Two. Ah! See what I was telling you about? That's why we're limber. Three. Oh, so nice. Felt nice. Yeah, the dude's in the hospital right now, but it's. Left leg. Oh, oh, you thought you were not gonna do it with the left leg. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this is Black Belt Magazine, guys, come on. So here, left leg, one and two, right? Work that left leg. As a stuntman, if I could not do the same thing with both legs, I'd be out of a job. Come on. <clears throat> one. <laughs> This one, one, Oof. three, now mean face, three, two, one, and let it simmer. Having fun guys, this is, this should be the fun part of the, of the workout. Ah, oh. ah. Oh. Ah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so, let's ramp it up. These are the basic combinations still where we're trying to give you as many tools as possible because we're going through most of the kicks. So now, <laughs> this is gonna be a great one. 
I can give you a beginner version if you want. So guys, type in the chat, please give me a beginner version if you need one. But I think everyone can try this, you know, in a somewhat safe environment. Just don't hurt any furniture over the house. So here, hips are square. And let's imagine that I got an opponent coming from the right, okay? Yeah, let's start with the left. Opponent coming from the left, and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a side kick to that opponent, like this. One, remember, some people do it in a straight knee up and then unveiling. I don't like that. I don't think it's that direct to the target. So nowadays, most people teach the side kick bending or chambering all already on the side so that you can extend and make it more piercing, right? So the more hip you give into that side kick, the better. And in the beginning, like Master Keith Cook once said, because I had a, a few online classes with him, show your butt to your, show your butt to your opponent. So instead of going like this and this, show your butt first and then kick. So if you're my camera, if you're my opponent, I'm gonna do one, I'm gonna show you my butt and then extend all, all the way through in order to go and pierce the hell out of you. Okay, let's go. So hips are square, and I'm gonna go left, right, nice. Okay, a little faster, let's go. Left, right, nice. It doesn't have to be a headshot. It can be a middle or a, a tummy kick. Go, oh, oh, nice. But it's not over yet, it's not over yet. So you did left, Right, you're gonna recoil, and now you're gonna go to the front. And you're gonna do a roundhouse going through one and the wheel. Oh, this is so beautiful. So let's pretend we already did the side kicks. Let's just work on the technique first. So I did one, two, I'm gonna do a roundhouse with the left, one, and then a wheel with the right. Remember, a wheel is exactly a hook kick but turning. Since you're coming from this one, you're turning and throwing a wheel kick with the right, okay? Let's do everything in a smooth fashion, but still like 60% intensity. 60, 6 -0. One. Okay, this was 60. Ramp it up to 70. One. Uh -oh. Woo. 87. 87, 11. What's up, guys? Uh -oh. So, uh -oh. Ninety-seven and a half. Oh man, I'm gonna die. Slap your head twice. Oh, oh man, that felt good, that felt good. Now you're thinking, maybe, maybe this pain in the butt willow guy forgot to do the other legs. Maybe we'll move forward. You'd be wrong, grasshopper. You'd be so wrong. Mm. Ah. So we're gonna do hip square. And we're gonna do right first. So right, left. Eighty four and a half. <laughs> this is so stupid. <sighs> Careful not to lose <laughs> your place in the in the camera. <laughs> and now Full blast, guys. Nice. And get some rest. Wow, this felt good. I told you this was explosive. How are you guys feeling? Come on. Ride a little bit. Talk to me. I want to know you're not just looking at me kicking and you're like, well, this little guy, well, he can kick. Come on, guys. Patrick, tell me you're working out, please. 
in your tank top. Patrick's like, yeah, I'm working out. Yeah, 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 yeah Willow. I got a great pump right now. Uh, the last one will be a special treat. You guys deserve it. There's a, there's a guy called Benny Lai, and my director, I call him MacGyver. So MacGyver, please hear me out. It's not the first video that I sent you. It's the second one from Police Story. I want you to look at this excellent combo. It's the second one that appears. It's the one on slow motion as well. Please put it on. Okay, holy moly. So this guy, this guy's called Betty Lai. He did this wonderful little fight with Jackie Chan in Police Story 2. Man, and he's so fast. I mean, what I really dig about this is that the guy knows how to place his feet. His footwork is so excellent that everything kind of flows, but still has a lot of power. So let's break it down and let's have some fun with this choreo, okay? If you want a beginner version of this, please say something in the chat, but I believe everybody could try at least to get, even if it's a little rough, to get the best out of it, okay? So the first thing will be a roundhouse kick. Let me hit, let me hit this camera right now. <clears throat> so, the roundhouse kick will be, Let's say I'm in the left leg stance. This one we're just gonna do to one side, okay? So it's gonna be your best side. So use this first leg should be your best leg. So if you're right, right legged or right handed, use that one, okay? So I'm gonna do a roundhouse, but I can't go all the way through with the hips. So I'm gonna go like this, one. So close hip. So if I were doing it on Bob, let me bring Bob here for a second. Ah, bah, 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 bah. Hi, partner. Here. If I were doing it on Bobby, it, it, it should look like a slap, like this. Like this. Okay, I, I have to keep my hip closed. Why? Because from there, I have to go all the way back and do a back sweep like this. Okay? So if I went all the way with my hips, if I went all the way with my hips, it would be really hard for me to go back and do the back sweep, right? So I have to do close hip, and as soon as my leg goes down, I go down into a full blasting back sweep. Make sure when you do the back sweep that your heel, your back heel or your um, support leg heel is up like this. And from here, all the way, Careful with the tatami, sometimes the pinky. Sometimes you'll lose the pinky doing this one. So make sure you have foot integrity from here. One. Okay? So what we're gonna do is roundhouse and back sweep. Very nice. Let's do it one more time. Roundhouse, closed. Roundhouse, back sweep. Okay. Now, after the round, after the back sweep, this is where the fun starts. After the back sweep, you go right away onto a wheel kick. So you seize that momentum that you're getting from the back sweep in order to do a wheel kick. So you're, you're gonna finish the back sweep here, and you're gonna go up, and from here, you're gonna use the floor as your friend to do a wheel kick with that same leg. So let's try to do three 60% intensity. So I'll work from here. One, two, and three. Okay? Let's do it one more time. Man, I wish I could see you guys. One, pa, 
two, four, three, four. Nice, nice. How do you feel? Does it feel good? Do you connect? Does it get smooth while you're doing it? Now, the final part is where you switch sides. So you were adding, uh, uh, so you did two strikes to one side. So now you gotta switch all of a sudden and go for a roundhouse with that same leg. So I, I was going, I was doing a, a rotational uh, um, uh, back sweep, then I went to a wheel, so I had that momentum going this way, but then as soon as I finished the wheel, I touched the floor, and I have to go roundhouse to the kick, to the kick, to the face of Jackie. So let's just do this final part. Let's say we're gonna do 50% intensity. Wheel, touch, and Round. Once again, wheel, touch, and round. Wheel, touch, and round. Let's ramp up a little bit. Wheel, and round. One more. Wheel, and round. Nice, okay. Rest a little bit, and now we're gonna connect all the dots. So quick reminder of the combo. Round. Sometimes I mix the names. <laughs> I, I, learned them, I learned, learned them in Portuguese. So round, back sweep, wheel, and switch, uh, roundhouse. Let's do it very slowly first, like 50% intensity. Three, two, one, go. One, Two, three, and four. How did it feel, guys? A little higher intensity. One, two, three, four. Nice. I just want two more. The last one should be full blast. This one should be almost full blast. Three, two, one, go. And the last one, are you guys ready? To this one. Even with the tatami breaking, you have a lot of momentum so you can actually get it done. Oh man. This felt great. Woo! Get some rest, get some water, and meet me here in about a minute and chat with me. Come on, guys. Tell me what you think. Uh, so, while you're resting, grab a bench or a chair, and we're gonna go for that last piece which is called strength and conditioning. Ah. Oh. Lav Koger, great combo. Michael Mobs, thank you. Oh, thank you, man. Maori Hazin, Maori, Maori Hazin, Portuguese Bruce Lee. Oh, man, come on. Nobody's Bruce Lee. Miguel Niz, great session. Go, Bruce, the greatest stuntman alive. Keep up the good work, oh, man. You should have known. You should, have got, you should have gotten to know the stunt people I know, and you would never say that in your entire life, but thank you so much. Uh, Jeff Goodman, Je Jeff Goodrum, sorry. Jeff Goodrum, you're a beast. Ah, come on. The beast is right here. Wearing this makes me feel like a beast. Or maybe it's the Red Bull that I had before. Okay guys, so get it together because now, uh, now it's gonna, it's gonna be pain and torture. So this is the last segment of today's uh, training. So we had, let me remind you of the blueprint. So we had warm up with a lot of mobility exercises and activation. Then we had plyometrics, explosive drills to get your fast twitch muscle fibers going. And it's one of the craziest things when people say, I don't need fast twitch. 
Only athletes need fast twitch. That's bull boom. That's bull crap. And you know why? Because everybody, even older people, if they lack the balance, and a lot of old people unfortunately die or, or go to hospitals because of falls, if you have a quick muscle reaction to every little nuance of everyday life, it's gonna be much better for you in the long run. So if I if I'm walking down the street and all of a sudden if I trip, it's not the slow muscle fibers that are gonna do the work. So if I'm doing this and I trip, it's the fast muscle fibers that are gonna save me. I can't tell you how many times I did not spray my ankle because I was fast enough to switch my, um, my body weight to the other leg. So this is what it's all about, guys. It's not just about being able to kick, it's about having conditioning. I've taught this to a lot of people that are not martial artists and they've enjoyed it because it's a little, it's a different way of working out your body, right? So the first thing you're gonna do now, so what we're gonna do now is gonna do three rounds and this is gonna be tough, guys. It's gonna be three minute rounds. We're gonna do just two because we're past our time. No, we're not past our time because we, we did uh, uh, delay a little bit in the beginning in order for people to come in. But now we're gonna do strength and conditioning and we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five exercises in three minutes. We're gonna rest two minutes and then we're gonna repeat everything and try to beat our first score. So the first exercise will be the Bulgarian squats. That's why I want you to go get either a chair or a couch. And it's gonna be here. So the first exercise will be the Bulgarian squats. I'm gonna teach you all the exercises first. Please check them out first. And only when I say three, two, one, go, that's when we go. So it's gonna take a while. Please practice the technique of the exercises first, okay? It's gonna take a while until we start. So from here, I want you to go all the way down into a 90 degree angle. So it's called a Bulgarian squat. What I want you to do is I want you to take like two seconds lowering up and quick on the, uh, on the uh, going up part. So like this, one, two, up, one, two, up, one, two, up, okay? Train that exercise, make sure it's safe, make sure you have good padding on whatever, the, the, the couch, the, 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 the bed, wherever it is that you're doing it, we're gonna do eight on one leg and eight on the other, okay? Right after that, this is while the three minutes will go on. While, right after that, we're gonna do 10 hollow rocks. So a hollow rock is this. Lay on the floor, do it to this camera, it's better. I want two palms from the floor with the feet and the hands. I want you to really tighten up the abs as if Thor was using its hammer on you like this. And I want you to rock back and forward, always keeping this hollow position. So I want you to lower, I want your lower back to be constantly on the floor, rolling from one side to the other. So your butt is gonna go on the inside. You're gonna really squeeze your butt like this. One, two, okay? If you can't do this, if it's too hard, please do it like this. So point your, uh, point your hands up and bend your knees, okay? We're gonna do it 10 times, which means go back and forth uh, is one repetition. So we're gonna do it 10. So we already got eight, eight, 10. Then 12 push-ups. Everybody knows how to do push-ups. If you can't do the push-ups, regular style, do it with the knees on the floor. And I want full push-ups, okay? Touch your chest on the ground and extend your arms, okay? So it's gonna be eight, 10, 12. Then, one of my favorites, pivoting. I'm gonna do it to this camera here. Pivoting, feet shoulder width, cross your fingers, and from one side, as if you were doing a double, or as if you were using a, a, a blade on someone. So like this, one, two, but explosive. So always pivoting the feet from one side to the other and go from the hip, head, to the other side of the hip, like this. Okay, and you're gonna do 14 reps total, seven to each side. So that means eight, eight, and don't worry, you're gonna remember it because you're gonna watch me do it as well, you're gonna do it while I do it. Eight, eight, 10 hollow rocks, 
12, so 8, 10, 12, 14. 12 push-ups, 14 rotations, and then from whatever time is left of those three minutes, you're gonna do maximum burpees. The most burpees you can give me until the three minutes stop, and we're gonna count your burpees. You're gonna count how many burpees you did. You're gonna rest for two minutes, you're gonna do everything all the same, and then you will try to beat the number of burpees that you've done on the first round, okay? Let me remind you of what a burpee is. A lot of people from the martial arts don't do burpees that well. They do like a sprawl. It's not a sprawl. Go all the way down, okay? So it's this. All the way down, touch the chest on the floor, up, and only the feet will be out of the floor. You don't have to jump high. It's just like this, just to make sure you're straight in the, in, in the end. So I'll, let me do two. This is a burpee, okay? So eight Bulgarian squats, 10 hollow rocks. You're gonna do exactly as I do, but only on the burpees, each one on its own, okay? 10 hollow rocks. 12 push-ups, 14 rotations, and then maximum burpees. Are you guys ready for the challenge? So we're mixing strength, conditioning, a lot of core work. It's, it's a great finish. You're gonna like it. You're gonna hate it. Yeah. I think I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's start the kumite. Naksukao. Naksukao! Okay. And in five, four, three, two, one, go! One, two, three, eight on each side. Remember, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Switch. This is the easy part. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Hollow rocks, 10. 10 hollow rocks. We still got two minutes and 30 seconds. One, two, it's 10 hollow rocks. Three, four, five. Keep this nice posture. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. 12 push ups. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen rotations, and eight, nine, ten. Maximum burpees, one minute and forty seconds. Two. Three, go guys. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Fourteen. One minute. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Let's go. Twenty-two. 30 seconds. Twenty six. Twenty seconds. Three. 
Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Two minutes rest. Oh Jesus. Come help me. Uh, holy crap. I can't see. No, no. Ah. Boom, boom, boom. I can see what Van Damme is, is seeing in Bloodsport. Like. Ah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Where's my water, dude? Oh, here it is. This ugly guy is looking at me. See, this is the ugly mug. Ugly mug, mug. <laughs> it's not a mug, it's a bottle. Oh my goodness. Let's go Bruno Ferreira. Let's go Matt Unbring. Come on, man, you guys are making up your names. Unbearing metal. Jesus, man. <clears throat> Oh, you got this, says Black Belt Magazine. Yeah, right. I got this. It was like 32 reps. It was Bruce Lee's age when he, wow. I gotta do 32 again. So the idea here, guys, we have 30 seconds. The idea here is to try and match or surpass our first record. Holy. Why did I design this with two minutes rest? I'm such a douchebag. Such a bag of douche. <coughs> Let's not speed it up on the other exercises, guys. We got five seconds. Go on to your positions and let's give it all. Go! One, two, Remind, remember it's eight, four, five, six. Don't speed it up. Make it hurt. Burp, okay. Burpy, oh burpy, ha. That's not funny at all. One, two, three, four. Straight position. Six, seven, eight. Wow, 10 hollow rocks. I did 32 burpees. Law. One, two, three. Remember it's 10, four. Let's not speed it up, five. Six, I can only speed up the burpees. Eight, nine, 10. And I can speed up the push-ups as well. Oh, oh, oh. Great, now I screwed my arms for the burpees. One. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, two more. And here we go. Two. Let's go guys. No talking now. Fifteen. <laughs> seconds.
31, 32, five seconds, 33, Why is the rest time still there? Take it off, MacGyver. Stop teasing me. Oh. Ah. 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 <clears throat> I'm glad it's over. Is it on the game of death? The outtakes that Bruce Lee goes like against stuff and he goes like. <sighs> There's the footage of Game of Death. Uh, see, this is how you, uh, sorry guys, this is how you manage <laughs> burpees. <laughs> this is how you manage to do great workouts in about an hour time because we started like, uh, <clears throat> not at the hour, but uh, it was 1 p.m. Pacific time, so it was probably 1.15, 1.15-ish when we started. So that means it was about an hour and five minutes, and we gathered a lot of pieces together, and most of it will stick, because once you get better at those Cossacks, at those split squats, each, each class or each workout session, you'll get them better. I know you will. And when you do, you're gonna be like, okay, this is progress. Because I, I, wasn't, I wasn't doing it so low back then, and now I am. So don't come, me, come to me with that bull crap of, oh, warm-ups are just getting you started. No, it's where I put a lot of the accessory work. That's why sometimes I take a long time doing a warm-up, but when I start kicking, I can do a thousand kicks. I'm not saying that I'm good, but uh, <laughs> I, I, I mean, I can do a thousand kicks without getting injured. That's what I mean. <laughs> it's not, don't ask me to do a thousand kicks. That's not, that's not what I meant. There's a little bit of a language barrier. Keep in mind I'm from Portugal, so when I'm tired or drunk, my English usually gets worse. That's basically what I'm trying to articulate to you guys. So where are you guys from? Are you guys from the US? I have a lot of Portuguese friends out there. Hola a todos. This has been an amazing, amazing opportunity. Uh, and I want to thank Black Belt Magazine for this opportunity because, I mean, I was, I was kind of in awe when, when they, when they uh, saw my copycat videos. If you haven't seen those, it's, uh, they have been posting it here on Facebook. Uh, and uh, wow, it's been a, doing what, all, what I love with this incredible team, showing our creativity, or trying to be as creative as possible. As possible. Uh, we created this studio not long ago, maybe what, a year? A year and a half ago? Oh, two years, oh, okay, well, time flies by. <clears throat> I was a father six months ago, it's the cutest thing, everything's going well. Yes, the nights have been kind of crappy, but not all. And uh, it's like you find new reasons to be alive, right? Oh, Cesar Cesario, Orlando, Florida. Guy's programs his own workout. Pro proceeds to call himself a douche for making it difficult. <laughs> nice, Ronald. Yeah. <laughs> Bruno Freitas from Madeira. What's up, Bruno? Ricardo Vaz, Portugal. Ronald Gillespie Jr. The one who said I, <laughs> I called myself a douche. Ohio, USA. Uh, Rudolph, can you put up a little bit because uh, other people said somebody was from the UK. 
Brasil, Mauri, Oklahoma City, Co Cody, Bill McCarty. Oh, Cody, what's up, Cody? We've e-met each other. <clears throat> oh, Cesar Cesario, you're awesome. This was great. Oh, man, you are awesome, man. I'm from Baltimore, said Law Coger. I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. <sighs> Never been there. Never. I, I've only just recently been to the U.S. Lee Timmis, hi from the U.K. What's up, U.K.? Britain. <laughs> Stupid accent. <clears throat> follow us on Instagram. Yeah, follow us on Instagram. Oh, I wanted to leave you with a message, guys. It's it's we're almost through. Uh, oh, 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 I forgot to tell you. About flexibility, don't stretch right now. You guys are all pumped up. You, you did a ton of kicking. Don't go static stretching right now. Whenever you do static stretching, make sure it's when you're loose. Like, for example, if you go for a little light jog and then you stretch. Or if you've done some upper body or something and you're not really feeling uh, uh, pump on the legs. Because if something is very tight and you try to stretch it, that's where injuries come. And that's one of the things that I learned in martial arts through error. Because unfortunately, I have to be honest with you guys, most martial artists, unfortunately, have no freaking clue what to do in the gym. And that's what I'm trying to get. Uh, I, I'm trying to get that word across. And uh, I want to thank, once again, Black Belt Magazine for helping me do that because it's been one passion of mine to actually grab the best in martial arts grab the best in fitness. I'm not only a stuntman, but I'm also a personal trainer, so I try to mix the two together. And uh, the best conditioning or the best strength exercises for martial arts is something that I really have invested my time in. <clears throat> Cody, Bill McCart, you're awesome, brother. Yeah, you're awesome, guys. Thank you so much for the opportunity. AJ Ricardi, Ricardi. California love. Okay, no time for this now. Cristina Amar, boa salgar. Boa Cristina, obrigado. Ronald Gillespie, he burned through that Red Bull. He's gonna need another one after this. Let me just read you a quote from Bruce Lee and we're gonna be off soon. Let me just, I'm, I'm gonna grab it inside so, it's gonna be really quick, sorry guys. Here it is, here it is. So this is a book that I bought in Hong Kong called Bruce Lee, Wisdom for the Way. Sorry, I mean, I'm, come on, I'm not a cameraman. You're the cameraman, come on. I'm not in the right spot, sorry. Right? Bruce Lee, Wisdom for the Way, with tiny quotes from Bruce Lee, because Bruce Lee has been misquoted all his life and post-life. And, oh, this is from Black Belt Books. Never heard of them. Black Belt Books, well. This was expensive, <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, and uh, one of my favorite quotes that has been helping me, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm turning 38 in a couple weeks. And uh, one of my favorite quotes from Bruce Lee that I had never read before, let's see if I can find it, has been helping me a lot through these difficult times of parenthood and stuff like that. Uh, let's see where it is. Oh man, I'm shaking all the way. But I think this, this is one of those sentences that once you hear it, God damn. Oh man. Bear with me guys, come on. If you bear with the, aha. Uh -huh. This is an amazing quote that has been helping me a lot when, whenever I reach those times in which I think, is this worth it? You know, like sometimes it's like, why bother? And is this worth it? All this discipline, all this working out, all this, Nonsense, but uh, this is uh, this stung me like a like a bee. <laughs> Once I slow down because I think I have reached my peak, then my skills will go nowhere but down. Because you know what? A couple months ago, I thought I had re my, reached my peak. You know, it's like I'm reaching 40. Maybe my skills will go down. Maybe everything will start to plummet from now on. And some of you guys might have days in which you feel a little bit like that. But let me read this again and I'll cut you off. Once I slow down because I think I've reached my peak, then my skills will go nowhere but down. So it's all here. Keep striving. And thank you, Bruce Lee, for everything. And uh, I hope you've liked this power hour together. And uh, press the like button and please share this video with those that you think might be 
uh, willing to try something new to get better at their physical skills and maybe their martial arts. Like, share, subscribe, do all that. Oh, and uh, you can follow me uh, as well on uh, Instagram, the Bruce Willow, or YouTube, Bruce Willow channel. And thank you once again, Black Belt Magazine. And uh, I want to thank the Academy. Oh, no. Screw it. Okay, see you guys. <laughs> have a good one. Have a good rest. Get some protein. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.